by their child's school. Westside Career and Technology Center addressed sightings of bed bugs within the school building last week. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy was at the school this afternoon to get some answers on how they're addressing the issue. She joins us live in studio tonight. Julie? Good evening. I waited alongside parents in the parking lot this afternoon. They were there, of course, to pick up their children, anticipating more tales about the reported bed bugs. I was waiting around for canines to arrive to sniff out the bed bugs. So I just told her to go when she comes home, change her clothes, do whatever. Westside Career and Technology Center addressed bed bug sightings in the school February 5th. Stating in a letter, as you may be aware, we have had several independent individual alleged bed bug sightings in the school. This notice forced parents to react. Nobody wants to come to school. Why, why would you want to come to school when you got bed bugs? Why would you bring them home? They're not going to replace your furniture. Um, they're saying that they find them in notebooks, uh, bathroom walls, um, in the sea hall. The school said Monday afternoon reinforcements were going to be brought in this week. Pest control is expected to bring in a canine unit to inspect the building for insects. Though parents are worried, that approach is not enough. A little ridiculous for the canines because how are they going to sniff out bugs, which they say they can, but I don't think they can. I feel that they should have done that when they first found the bugs instead of waiting it out and not telling the parents or anything. Kids had to post it on Facebook about the bugs. For now, parents sit and wait for the issue to be resolved, hoping their kids don't carry the bugs home with them. I don't think they're doing enough to, 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 for the situation. I, I think it's more has to be done for the bed bugs. School officials point out that at no time was there ever a consideration to close the school to deal with these issues. As for those canines, they had not arrived to sniff out the school by the time I left at 4 o'clock this afternoon. We'll continue to follow this issue and track down answers. Live in the studio, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News.